8.3 um, in Algebra 2 now. The number E, so let's take a look at some examples with the number E. Okay, so on the calculator, all right, press Y equals. All right, you need to press Y equals here. So you press Y equals, and let's clear out anything that you have in there. So clear that all out. All right, this is 3.5, so type in 3.5. And the E, okay, to get to that E, that E that you're talking about there, um, in that uh, with Euler number, the E, you need to press the second key and then press the LN key. The second key and the LN key. When you do that, that'll give you that number. So it's 3.5 and then it's E. A caret sign comes along with it with a parenthesis. Then you just have to type in the .7x and then end the parenthesis. That's what you need to type in. So when we type that in, we go to graph and the graph that I get looks like this. Okay, now we can find the exacts of that graph, remember, by pressing second graph, and we have a list. And let's just go down to uh, negative 3. Negative 3, we get 0.428. And negative 2, we get 0.86. Negative 1, we get 1.73. Um, 0, we get 3.5. 1, we get 7.04. Uh, 2, we get 14.1. Okay, now, the point is, when we're doing this, um, I plot the points. Negative 3 and 0.4. Negative 2 and 0.8. Negative 1 and 1.7. We'll just say is there. 0 and 1, 2, 3 and a half is right there. 1 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is really close to 7 there. And 2, and we'll just say is 14 is way up there. So you connect all your points, and there's your line. All right, next up, um, go to y equals and clear that out now. Okay, so y equals and clear that out. It's just 2 minus, so that should be no problem. And remember, to get this right here, to get that, you have to do second ln. So, second ln, and when you do that, so far this is what it should look like on your calculator. A little parenthesis pops up there. You put the x right there on the inside, and then end the parenthesis, and go to graph. And now, my graph kind of looks like this. Do -do 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 what it looks like. That's my graph. So if I press second and graph, I'm going to take a look at my points is basically what I'm going to do. Okay. So I take a look at my uh, graphs there. If I clear this out and take a look at my points, I have negative 4, 1.98. I have negative 3, 1.95. I have negative 2, 1.86. I have negative 1, um, 1.63. I have 0, 1, 1, negative 0.71, 2, I'm down to negative 5.3, and 3 jumps me down even lower. But the point by all this is when I go and plot these points, negative 4 and almost 2, negative 3 and pretty close. Um, negative 2 and still pretty close, negative 1 and still pretty close, 0, 1, 1, and we're down here, 2, and we're down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5.3, and 3 is off the page, but anyway, the point is your graph goes down. Now, this problem, when we did this one, this has a horizontal asymptote right there at y equals 0. And notice how there's no number out here, right? This right here, if you look over here in this problem, the horizontal asymptote now is up here at 2, right? It's y equals 2. Now what's the difference between this problem and this problem? The difference is this had no number hanging out there by itself, and this number does. And that number is a positive 2, and notice how that's there. 
and since there is no number, notice how the asymptote is at zero. So keep in mind, the number that hangs out by itself there is your asymptote when we're going over these problems. So when we go to graph this, you already have a rough idea, but um, when we go to graph that, the asymptote will be at negative one, right? Um, the asymptote there would be at negative two. The asymptote there would be at negative one. Okay, so it's just some things to uh, keep in mind is all. Um, so I just want you to keep in mind where some of those are. So um, let's skip around here. I'm going to try to graph this one. So go to y equals. So I'll press y equals and clear it out. So this is how you should type this in. 1 in parentheses, 3, 1 divided by 3 in parentheses, then the e to the x with another parentheses, and then minus 2 right after it. That's how that should look, exactly typed in on your calculator. Remember, to get to the e, it's second ln. Right, so remember that there. And we end up having a graph down here like this. It goes up is kind of roughly what it looks like. So when we take a look at our point second graph, um, we have negative 3, that gives you negative 1.9. We'll just say negative 2 gives you about negative 1.9. Negative 1 gives you about negative 1.9. Um, 0 gives you about negative 1.6. 1 gives you about negative 1.1. Uh, 2 gives you a 0.46, um, 3 gives you a 4.7 roughly, and 4 jumps you up to 16. But anyway, we get negative 3 and almost down to negative 2, almost down to negative 2, almost down to negative 2, up a little higher, um, up a little higher, um, up a little high. 3, 1, 2, 3, 4.7. And notice how the graph just kind of goes up. And there's your graph. And remember, the asymptote is there at y equals 0. Or sorry, the asymptote is at y equals negative 2 because we have a negative 2 hanging out there by itself. And this graph would be the same, um, just so you can get the uh, idea. Um, if you want to plug that in um, at y equals, it will be written like this. Um, 2e um, caret sign parentheses x caret sign and then minus 1. And let's just take a look here quick. Remember, e to the x uh, is second ln. So when we go to graph this, um, we end up roughly getting, and I just want to make sure here you've seen this enough now, um, negative 2 and almost negative 1. Um, negative 1 and that's down here. 0, 1, um, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4.43. And the next one's way up there. So anyway, the point is your graph should look like that. So if you have any other further questions or concerns um, with graphing, then we can go over some more of those in class.